it's supposed to be good for you. <laughs> no, no, no. West, that's all I can tell you. Go west! I'm not going to do anymore, I'm going to pick you through it. Bit of an issue with our route today. Looks like the bridge is out. So what we decided to do is park up and have a sausage sandwich. Sausage sandwich fixes everything. Yes, it does. <laughs> On some nice chia batter bread with some delicious fresh butter. Slight issues today, haven't we? We definitely need to find somewhere to get some more water. And the toilet's quite full. <laughs> so I found a little spot, 59 minutes drive, called in, called in Camping Arteada. Looks really good and they've got all facilities, including electric. And I think it's about five euros, which I don't don't mind how much it is. We just need to sort stuff out, don't we? We need water, need the toilet dump. We need to have some food. <laughs> well, sausages are burning, so we need to finish this bit of the vlog. <laughs> nice little stop for lunch. It is. But interesting as well, this bridge. I wonder what happened to it. Is it subsidence? Yeah, we can look down there, look, we can see it all. Maybe for oh, this thing could go at any time, couldn't it? Right, babes, I don't think you should go down here. No, I really don't think you should go down here. Let's just have a look around the corner. No. No. No, it's just getting worse. It's, it's wide. Oh, this is getting really steep, babe. I don't think this is right. I think you should just reverse. Back here, babe. Just tell me how low it's going. This is the higher side, so I'm going to stay this side. Is it close underneath or not?
to Avery. That one done. Whew. Oh, this is so stressful. I wonder if this is what we're going to get out of. I actually started to doubt. I just hope there's no more hairpins like that one. Oh my god. Thank god for air suspension. We made it. Follow sat nav. We came up here and it gave us a horrendous hairpin to try and work out. So Follow the signs down the bottom, they'll, they'll bring you the correct way. Hooray, we found reception. And better still, they serve drinks. So we have a, a nice cool beer or something. So here we are on the site. We've filled up with water. We've managed to sort the toilet. Andy did. And the grey waste is there. And there's also showers. We've just been speaking to an English chap and he's told us about some thermal baths. So we're going to head off on the bikes, less than 10 miles away, is it? Yeah, eight miles. Eight miles and go and consume ourselves in the thermal salt mud and come back 20 years younger. It's supposed to be good for you. <laughs> well, I can't believe it. You might recognize this place. We were here about a week and a half ago where we saw naked people. So we've, we've been back and uh, covered ourselves in mud and feel very, well, you can't describe yourself as clean, can you? But it feels refreshing. I stink of eggs. Rotten yeah. eggs. Rotten eggs, oh. sulfur. But the it, skin, I must look at least 24 now. Yeah, the skin. Nice. Skin feels really good now. So anyway, we've got to scoot back, get a proper shower, and get out to dinner. Good morning. Morning. Right, today is a biking day, and it's gonna be a pretty tough biking day because we're gonna ride up that valley there, hopefully behind that mountain, and back down the next valley. But it's 50 miles and it's steep and that's and more than our battery can cope with. And it's very windy. And it's windy and it, the, uh, yeah. it's turned a bit cold as well. Yeah, it has. So, challenging day. <laughs> Let's see what happens. <laughs> Bye, Katie.
so all the grades up there are sixes and sevens. That's uh, quite a tough climb, I'd say. I am sticking to my bike. No. Fergie, is that his set? I don't know. Fergie. Oh, it's a beautiful village. Because of, it's autumn, look at the trees and they're all just starting to fall down, don't they? All the leaves. Oh, I love it. Oh, definitely some of the stuff in Slight change of plan. Michelle spotted a route which potentially runs alongside the road, which is going to be much better. I'm all for finding good routes, hey? It's a problem. <laughs> the road isn't that way, and it's definitely not this way. Got the man's been in the motorhome. <laughs> Yesterday, hairpins. So our instinct tells us to go that way, but the map tells us to go that way, and we can see a marker there as well. So thank goodness for the map. Yeah, this is one bridge I'm not going to cycle across. Oh, it, it is quite creaky. Just walk on the uh, the joists. This is super, super weak, this bridge. Whew. Yes! I am actually shaking. Like Indiana Jones, but a real stupid version of them. Oh, oh, you were getting too cocky then, weren't you? No, I just want to get off it. Oh, God. Oh. You just went for a spurt to the end. Oh, no, I just thought at the end, get off it, get off it. Oh. Anyway, go and, go and shut the gate. No, I'm not going back to shut the gate. <laughs> Maximum seven people. God, I think I say maximum seven stone. Done. So just a quick stop in Gardy before we encounter what is the steep bit of this ride. Just looking at the profile on there. We are here at the bottom of that steep bit, so no idea what that entails other than hard work. Warning, horizontal. Side of these mountains, a fair way, 25 miles away. Oh, I feel the need, the need for speed.
houses. Oh my god. What a special place this is. I had no idea it was going to be as good as this. It's so quiet, there's nobody here. There is. Well, apart from us. There's those big birds. Those I wouldn't describe you as a big bird. <laughs> no, look, in the distance. It's a long one. <laughs> Glad to be back. Yeah, very. Oh, so tired now. We've eaten all our food <sighs> en route. We are definitely ready for some food. Yes, dinner is definitely calling. Well, we're leaving our theater. Michelle's leaving her seat. Come back, come back. Yeah, really good here. Definitely good for a few nights. Great restaurant, great price. Some stuff to do around here. We didn't do it all, so we might come back again in the future. But yeah, all in all, a very good stay. We've just spotted what looks like an abandoned village at uh, Esco. So we've parked up and we're just going to go and have a quick explore. It definitely looks in ruin, although we're still Electricity cables hanging around here. There's no way to drive a car up here. We've got absolutely no idea what we're walking into, have we? There's a very good possibility there's going to be some wild dogs up here. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Nature is taking it back. Balconies up there. Shouldn't be going inside any of these. They look very dangerous. Could collapse at any second. Still see the uh, elaborate stone mark up there. So, there's Katie down there. I'm definitely going to have a look at the history behind this place, see what happened. Somebody actually lives here. We've just Googled ESCO and basically it was uh, abandoned largely in 1960 when this dam was built and flooded their farmland, obviously making it not viable to live there anymore. Just passing through Bill Bauer. Not gonna get lost here. Fingers crossed, we'll get it right this time. Approach now into Santander Air. It's looking quite busy. The air is full, so we're heading off now to a campsite. Plan C. We haven't worked that one out yet. Yeah. 
one out yet. We'll get back to you. We'll just pop over and have a look. So we found this place after another 15 or so minutes driving. The sea is just behind us. We're just hoping that we can get in now because time is against us. Oh, he's coming back. How the weather's changed. <laughs> Uh, it's because we're closer back to England, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, finally found the lady from reception. She said yay! There's lots of space, quite tight spaces actually, but uh, yeah, for pitch, no electricity, 22 euros. Yeah. But nice view, but the close to the sea. Yeah. First time on the beach this holiday. It is. Do you know what else? What? We've not done this holiday, even though it's been there by Parata. I know. <laughs> The kit has stayed firmly in its position and not moved to a holiday. No climbing opportunities. Well, we'll make up for it next time. No, we don't need to. Oh, oh God, blimey. Sound like a sack of potatoes, <laughs> that did. You're surrounded. <laughs> it's coming in, you know. No, no, no! <laughs> <laughs> well, she's off now. so tight down there, my goodness, look at how close these trees are. Okay. So we, uh, we, we checked in, we are the first motorhome, the third vehicle here, right at the front of the queue. So hopefully we'll get on first and get off first. We've been told there's even more of a delay now. We're not actually going to leave until 1am Sunday morning. And it is Saturday. What time are we at right now? 11.45 in the morning. <laughs> so there's Katie, all parked up. There's Michelle heading off. So we're going to head through the gates there into Santander. <laughs> Do a little bit of shopping. Emphasise little. Good things about Santander is you can park up early and we've got, what, about eight hours, I think, uh, in Santander now. We've done a bit of shopping and now it's time to have some food. Calamari, potatoes, still waiting for mine. Nice bit of jetty here. We found the funicular. We're not going to go in it, are we, though? No, I don't want to catch COVID. <laughs> there it goes. We could be in there. Instead, we're walking. Come on. Here she comes, at last. Beautiful Galicia. It's gone 10 o'clock and we're getting on the ferry. First motorhome on, they're following us on. That's definitely on. Nobody's telling us where to go. Just pick a space, any space, mate. Oh, yes! <laughs> this is amazing, we're at the front. Woohoo! <laughs> Thank you. 